Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these beautiful gold outline blinged out nails. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The tips that I have on are from Acrylic Creamery. They are the 3XL No Curve Square Tips. You can find the link to Acrylic Creamery's shop in the description below. And I'm going to be using Me Secrets Clear Acrylic throughout the whole set. I am also, as always, using Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush, as well as their monomer. And then you can find Nail House's site in the description below, as well as you can use my code Portia at checkout for a percent off your order. So I'm just going in and applying the acrylic onto the pinky nail. And notice how I always start my first bead off, for the most part, right where the free edge meet, like, um... Well, the free edge of the nail and the tip meets. That is where I normally apply my first bead and I work it down to the tip. And then I apply the next bead right above that one and start to build my apex. This isn't a acrylic tutorial, but I'm just kind of explaining to you guys. If you guys want a full in-depth shaping or not shaping acrylic tutorial, you can always check that out on my channel. And I always link the video to that. Um, always link that video in the description box below. Also, my pinky nail and my middle fingernail looks a little green at the nail. Um, that's nothing but just like a little acrylic from the last green set that I did right here. And it's on my little display thing that I normally put them on. I'm starting a new one because the old one is full. Um, and I will be I will be showing you guys like um, all of my nails on my display because I heard y'all. And I heard that y'all want to see it. So I will be showing you guys that soon. But yeah, it's just green, the nail. As you can see, there's like a little bit of acrylic still there. Um, I don't know if it like kind of slid under the nail or if it's like, cause I use top coat on my nails. So I think that's what probably happened there. But yeah, just don't, don't mind the greenness on the nails. Also, I just want to say that when I'm laying my acrylic, I don't do any like particular number of beads. I kind of just go with whatever, you know, until I feel like the nail looks right and it has them, um, the proper thickness and apex and stuff like that um but yeah i don't use any specific method like two beat method three beat method anything like that i just kind of place my beads until i feel like especially two because i do like super long nails there's no i don't just do like two or three beat methods so um i say all that to say that don't feel pressured or you know because you see everyone else doing it and that's what if you guys saw my last video staying in your own lane you know, you don't have to do try to do two B method, three B method, or whatever you you know. Especially if you're a beginner, like don't feel pressured to do a certain um, amount of beads. Just go with whatever you feel is right, and until the nail looks right to you. Sometimes I could do um, some days I can do three beads, some days I can do five or six, seven. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as the nail looks right um, and it has the proper thickness and apex and all of that. Um, yeah and also you guys will see like i always look at the side like the side view of my nails always flip it to the side to see like where i need more acrylic as i'm applying the application and all of that like that's very important to look at the sides of your nails so that you can see where you need more acrylic if there's a dip if you need to make it thicker um or whatever that's very important but check out my application for a beginner video because i talk about all of that in there in detail like the apex all of those kind of things thickness liquid to powder ratio and all of that in that video and again that video is linked in the description below as well as the shaping for beginners video and the pop-off method that i use as well as like my old displays those video links are in the description as well below I feel like I want to start doing like a tip of the day or something like that. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about that. But um, 
the tips that I want to say today, like as far as two, because I'm doing application, what I want to tell you guys is that the brush absolutely matters. Like the brush can make or break your set. You want to invest in a good quality brush so that it's easy for your application and you're not working with the, you know, because the brush definitely does matter. I know I can tell the difference between different brushes and how your application comes out. Um, it's all up to you about what size you're comfortable with. I personally use a size 16 brush. Like I just got used to using my little size 16 brush. It's a bit bigger than the brushes that I um, used to use, but I'm pretty much used to it now. But yes, this is this brush is from Nail House and it's very good quality. But I just recommend that you guys, what, wherever that is, it doesn't even have to be with Nail House. It can be with whoever. Um, just try out different brushes and find a good quality brush. Cause I'm telling y'all, the brush does matter. It absolutely does. You want a brush that don't shed on you and don't act crazy like it doesn't flare out and it's very like smooth and um, we're able to smooth the acrylic out good and you're able to clean up the sides with the tips. As you guys notice, I use pretty much the tip of the brush the most. Like I don't use the full body of the brush if you guys notice that. Um, I only use the full body of the brush when I'm like pretty much smoothing it out. Like if it's like if I'm really trying to get um you know if it's already dried a little bit and i'm trying to like force it smooth but for the most part i use oh and then as you see i always clean up the sides of my nails when i'm applying the application that will save you a lot of shaping time that is how you get that smooth application to where well that isn't really how you get smooth application but that's how you keep your shape during the application you guys see that I do that a billion times during application. I always take my brush and clean up the sides of the nail so that I can keep my shape. It just um, makes a much easier like filing time. Like it cuts down a little bit on the filing as well. But yes, y'all, a good quality brush matters. It will help a ton with your application and application time, which leads to a shorter filing time, which leads to a quicker, you know, set. If that makes sense so i guess i can't really do <laughs> that really won't work because i tell you guys a bunch of tips per video like a one tip of the day yeah that doesn't work i tell you guys a bunch of tips you know as many as i always try to drop as many gems as i can per video for you guys or you know just whenever i have something to say um but yeah so if you're trying to get because i get a lot of those too in the comments you know people asking like how do you work on getting faster and it comes with a lot of practice um you can't you know get faster overnight it comes with a ton of practice because even i'm um i used to be super duper slow and i still i'm kind of like medium slow now <laughs> but i'm definitely much faster like i get these videos done here in like an hour and a half two hours if it's a more little um complex a little more complex design but i pretty much get my film you know get my this these sets like five fingers done in an hour and a half i'm talking about shaped whole set design everything so i saw so a full like set on myself probably take me like three three and a half hours with prep and everything because prep is like 30 minutes but yeah yeah y'all so that is a tip to get faster is that you want to work on your application because um i used to be filing filing at the nails for a long time when i didn't have my application down so you want to get your application as smooth as possible so that you can cut down on filing which essentially cut down on like the whole set time because you can go ahead and file real quick when i say y'all i file the nails so quick one one day i'm gonna leave maybe this video i'm not really sure but one day i'm gonna leave the um filing in real time like i file the nails so quick because my application be pretty much smooth for the most part um i don't know how many minutes i take to file but maybe i can like figure out by looking at the time in the video and let you guys know but yeah y'all that is my little tips or those are my little tips also y'all i want to reiterate that i'm not perfect like I still work at, you know, this thing every single day. Um, and I think that come across in my videos that I'm not perfect, but I do try my best. But I'm just saying that, you know, if we work at ourselves. Well, not ourselves. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. I, you know, practicing nails. If we work at that, 
um, we're only going to get better. Like, it's inevitable. Only going to get better and quicker. I mean, if quicker is your goal, um, but it's it's mine. Like, if, if I was quicker, I'd be able to get more, even more videos done than I already do. And I'll be able to get them to you guys even more than I already do. And yeah. Also, too, I know that I'm quicker, too, because, like, before... I only used to like film one set every day, but like now every time I do a set, uh, well lately, I won't say now every time, but lately I've been doing two sets. Like before it just take me like, maybe like, I don't know, a long time to do one little set of five nails, but now I can do two set of five nails for y'all in like three hours. Like, so it doesn't take up my whole day if that makes sense. Like three to four hours. And then I have two videos to edit and upload for y'all. And yeah, so, um, and you know, this is, just, this is just with me being consistent at it. Cause like I told you guys, as always with repetition comes, you know, like, you know, we get better and we get quicker with repetition. We just have to do it over and over and over again. And we'll find different ways. Like, well, I can do this better next time and I can get, you know, you're used to it. So you become faster and all of that. That's all y'all. I'm not going to be rain in this video. That's all. <laughs> So right now, as you guys see, I am just finishing up the application on the thumb and then we're going to move on to shaping. All right, y'all, so I'm pretty much through with the application and I just wanted to show you guys real quick because some of you are curious or not, I don't know if you guys asked for this part. I think I'll ask for something else. I think y'all asked about, um, oh, okay, I did ask about this. I'm Y'all, it's, I'm getting a little sleepy, but y'all did ask about how I clean my brush. So I did want to show you guys this right here. I did show you guys before, but for those of you who are new and in any of that, anyways, basically what I do is I take the leftover monomer from the application and I just clean it out of the dish with some, a paper towel. And then I put some monomer in the, um, monomer and acetone, but more monomer into the dish. And I just swirl it around and then like kind of pull it and slide it against the side of the dish to just kind of remove any excess, um, acrylic or anything in the brush out of it and i wipe it on the paper towel as well and then when i'm done i just pour monomer over it it's kind of like um i explained this before the acetone kind of pretty much cleans the brush is act as like a shampoo and then the monomer is there for like conditioning conditioning like kind of um agent or whatever you know because they are essentially hairs and it's kind of like you know how we do our hair we shampoo it and we condition it so the monomer is there to kind of give that um moisture back into it so you're not drying out the brush um a lot of people are so against using acetone for cleaning the brush and i've been doing it for a very long time and my brushes are just fine i only use like you guys saw a few drops you know a little bit i use more monomer than acetone into the mix um and then i just pour as you guys saw monomer onto the brush after it's done you know after i'm done i wipe it off and then i wipe it off again like you know i kind of flatten it out on my paper towel so that the brush hairs can get flat again after the application and it's ready to go for the next one 
I really hope that makes sense, y'all. Sometimes I can talk a little fast, but I really hope that makes sense. As well as you guys saw, I put or I disposed of the paper towels into a jar with a lid on it, a glass mason jar with a lid, so that you know the fumes don't be so strong. Like that's one of the things that I do to keep the fumes out, you know, until I can like throw them in the trash outside. So that's what I do. Um, as well as to keep, I guess I can go ahead with some, with a few more tips for um how to keep the monomer smell out of your house, room, whatever. What I do is number one, I light candles love candles i'm a candle fiend a candle head i love them <laughs> um i light a candle and then i i crack a window as well as turn on my ac so that you know um i feel like the ac just kind of helps push the smell out so like i don't really know it keeps fresh air and I, that's just how I feel. I don't know if it's in my head or what, but I crack a window as well as turn on my AC and then I keep my air purifier on as well. I turn my air purifier on. So those are the what four things or five things I do. I light a candle, I turn on my air purifier, I open the window, I turn on my AC and I dispose of my paper towels in a mason jar with a lid so that they don't smell so much. So I really hope if you guys never tried those tips, especially the, the candle and the um, mason jar with a lid, highly recommend you guys try those. They work like a charm for me. Um, I'm kind of used to the monomer, monomer smell, but sometimes it's kind of a little strong. I, I won't lie. Um, and those are the things that help me really good, especially like when I'm done, just get away, get a rid of the smell really quick. So, yeah. Anyways, y'all, as you can see, I've already got into shaping and filing the nail um as always i like to start with filing the surface of the nails then underneath then the sides then the tips and then following last but not least sealing my cuticles with the drill um i like to file the tips of my nails with the drill as well as you guys will see but again if you guys want a full in-depth step-by-step shaping tutorial different shapes the little coffin square all of those kind of things you can check out my shaping tutorial on my channel which is also like i said linked in the description below as well i also wanted to say that if you guys try those methods that i told you about minimizing the smell the monomer smell while doing the nails um you don't have to use all of the tips an uh, air purifier and opening a window and candles will work just fine I just like to take the extra step and, um, you know, have my AC on because some, some, for some reason in my little head, I feel like it just works better with keeping the smell out and, um, as well as the mason jar with the lid, highly recommend that you can get one from the dollar store for like a dollar. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't use any of those tips, I highly recommend the candles. Like if you have not used candles at all while doing nails, if you've never tried that, like, you have to try like you must and you will never go back again and thank me later i'm a candle head i'm a candle what what is the what is the word the girl said in the last video connoisseur like i love candles like real bad <laughs> so um i definitely have to do that over anything like if i didn't have anything else even if i didn't have an air purifier i would use a candle like candles i love candles <laughs> clearly but um but they work really well as well with the monomer smell but i'm gonna stop talking y'all and let y'all finish watching this shaping and filing and then we're gonna move on oh i don't know how i forgot maybe because i haven't been doing it recently like in a little while but i used to use a monomer drops as well they do help a little y'all already know what i'm about to say it's always gonna be the thumb for me but anyway y'all this is how the nails are looking with them all shaped up and filed super crispy or crisp y'all i'll be saying crispy like i want some food am i hungry or what anyways anyways y'all um i almost forgot to sew the thumb 
and the index finger nail but i'm gonna do that now and then i'm gonna buff the nails clean them and then i'm gonna move straight into the design All right, y'all. So getting into the design, I'm going to be using the star of the show. <laughs> I'm going to be using this beautiful, gorgeous painting gel from Zule. Zule's Nails. Zule's Nails. That big cartel. I'm going to be using her painting gel and the num or the color light gold from her Golden Hour painting gel collection. So beautiful. But first, before that, before I outline the nails with that, I'm going to go in with some matte top coat from a color creamery to, you know, put on the nails and I'm going to cure them so that, uh, so that the glitter can shine, you know, as well. I want the nails matte, but I want the outline shiny. Um, and her, cause her painting gel is a non-wipe, like, or no wipe, non-wipe, no wipe. <laughs> um, you don't have to uh, top coat it. So, and I want it to shine. So that's why I went ahead and did the nails matte first before applying the painting gel. And right there, I just used her gel brush to clean up some of that um, top coat at the cuticle. If you guys have not tried that gel brush, I highly recommend it. It comes in a pack of like four or five. I think it's for on her website and y'all they are bomb i highly recommend them like if you have not gotten your hands on those gel brushes i highly recommend it i use them for that one in particular for um that ombre those ombre nails that were like trending the french ombre all that and it worked like a charm as well as i do use it a lot to like for like cleanup because it's like a very uh slim brush that's uh very well it's it's really good as well as to like paint gel onto the nails but anyways y'all i cured that top coat that matte top coat for that's how it looks as well i cured that top coat for 120 seconds um two minutes i do that with my matte top coat because i feel like it gives the most matte look um that's another gem i do it for two minutes instead of 60 seconds because yeah i just feel like it gives a more matte finish like that but anyways y'all so i moved on now and i am going ahead and i'm uh, painting those gold outline on the nails with the painting gel y'all isn't it beautiful like this is the most beautiful paint like most beautiful gel like glitter gel i've ever seen like it's so pigmented like you guys i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm not even using a lot of it i'm using some some of the residue left onto the lid and i'm um filling in the outline of the nails and it's like a little bit goes a very very long way and it's so beautiful y'all it's so sparkly so so shiny like luxurious i love it like i love it this is now like my favorite gel in the world like and it's so like beautiful for line work different line designs and a whole bunch of stuff like it could complement any set really and she has a bunch of different colors in her golden hour look at look at it y'all look at it it's beautiful she has a bunch of different colors in her golden hour gel collection that's the name of it is golden hour painting gel collection on her side you'll find it. and if you can't find it you can uh she has a search bar at the bottom of her page you can just scroll down and type it in 
um type in whatever you're looking for and you'll find it like this is so beautiful y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching me outline these nails and yeah also y'all how did i forget of course we're using the famous brush the famous aligner brush <laughs> this brush y'all i got from amazon no it does not it does not come bent like that <laughs> it's my go-to brush and it got bent like that over time it was once straight but um yeah i guess i always do stuff with the brush in that motion like i'm always doing an outline with it or a french with it or something of that nature um and it just got bent like that over time but it is from amazon and you can you can find it in my amazon storefront which is linked in the description below and the brushes do come in a set of nine it doesn't come by itself so um yeah and the other brushes are pretty good too i recommend those as well so you won't be upset you know like you won't be um disappointed with the brushes that come with the set but i really love this one because it's super long and i can do like a bunch of you know long or line work <laughs> i was about to say long line work but yeah i can do a bunch of line work and i can do um i do my fringes with them or with it I do pretty much everything with this liner brush. Like, this is pretty much the only liner brush I use. I kind of use a couple of more to do, like, more smaller detailed work. But I use this one every single time for the most part. also wanted to mention that i'm sure you guys can see that the nails like the clear acrylic um is not it's not so much clear like see-through if you know what i mean like me secrets acrylic is not well at least i haven't i haven't really been able to i don't i don't think i have i don't think i've ever been able to achieve like a very clear see-through um nail with you know no matter how good my application is and with um, me secrets clear acrylic um that's not to take away from it i love me secrets clear acrylic um clearly i use it a lot but um it's not so so like i guess what i'm trying to say is that it's kind of inevitable to get like bubbles and just like a un very clear um application with it like i've been able to achieve a really good application with other clears like nail house for instance um uh, well nail house is the only other one that i've used but and it's much clearer than me secrets but that's no shade or anything like that like i said love me secrets clear acrylic but yeah but it doesn't matter because we're not doing these nails like clear glassy and then like you guys won't be able to see it with the stones over top it um yeah that's all
all right y'all this is how we're looking with the outline of the nails complete i love it it's so pretty even just like this but minus the not so clear acrylic <laughs> but anyways y'all we're gonna begin with the bling and i already have some on this little tray here of the ones i was going to be using and i know you guys can see there's only four of each one because i have the fifth one of each um of each of the ones i'm using on on something else because sometimes i like to place my stones out like to see how they look on the nail before placing them on there especially because or especially since i'm i do outline nails i want to see you know how I want to make sure that it fits across the nail like and not overlapping the outline if that makes sense so i kind of lay them out prior to um gluing them on the nail to see how they look and all of that but anyways as always gonna go in with this labeling adhesive to apply the crystals and that little grid there of all of those golden shadow rhinestones those are all glass they're not swarovski um as you guys can clearly tell and then um yeah i got those from amazon and i'm not sure if they're in my amazon storefront but i definitely can leave them in there for you guys but if you want to search them all you have to do is search like gold or golden shadow um rhinestones shape grid something like that something in that you know something along those lines and they definitely shall pop up and these pair this pair of rhinestone here that i got or that i have i got these from aliexpress and then i got um the little choreo um diamond shaped charm the gold one on the tray still from aliexpress as well forgot to mention that another reason too why i apply my matte top coat before anything else is because um i don't like to apply the matte top coat after or like yeah after doing like the crystals onto the nails because you can get matte top coat on the crystals and it won't look pretty it will like take away the shine as well as i just like the way it looks better with um underneath the crystals because um it just gives like a cleaner look if that makes sense but you have to be careful with how much glue you use and all of that because it can like if it's if sometimes I have trouble with the crystal sliding and when glue kind of like gets everywhere. But for the most part, like I was able to control them kind of, you know, more this time around because I'm kind of getting used to it without them sliding and showing like because you know if it's sliding and the glue gets onto the nail it's matte so it will show so um to avoid it showing so much use a little bit less glue and try to avoid them from sliding but yeah like i said i like to apply the matte top coat before crystals because it gives it just like this way cleaner like cleaner finish all right and what you guys just saw me do there was i apply or i sprayed some me secret activator spray i spray that onto the nail when i'm you know pretty much done doing my crystals so that the glue can just dry a little bit faster um yeah so i'm just going ahead and finishing up the last part of this nail oh it's done now so this is how it looks so so pretty and now i'm going to do that same exact thing to the rest of the nails so last thing too for any of you wondering the reason i spray the activator spray away from like the table and stuff is because like well normally i have like my big box of crystals right here and if it gets on that box um you, you guys can see sometimes on the outside of some of the boxes that um that plastic will turn it, it will turn white if you get the spray onto the box so that's why i try to spray it away as well as the y'all i'm not gonna lie the activator spray is kind of strong like i ain't gonna lie your girl be finna choke okay like i'm feeling like in hell and that gonna give me cancer or something like <laughs> that spray is so strong but it works well but um and when i'm doing my nails y'all i i have a mask on always even when i'm filing them even when i'm you know the whole process i have a mask on the whole way until i'm you know applying crystals and stuff but 
yeah i have a mask on the whole way it's important to wear your mask y'all because we are dealing with you know a little bit of bad chemicals and we want to protect ourselves so you know from the dust and everything and the fumes and all of that and i should probably get a better mask but i use like a regular mask for the most part but it's still a mask and it stops at least the, the um some of the some of the smell but all of the dust from getting light in my nose and mouth and all of those kind of things so yeah
the nails came out so beautiful y'all i knew that before i did this set that i had to do a gold outline set because i've done a few other colors but i knew that these would be just so bomb y'all like i love them outside in the lights and the dark with the flash i just love it i love every bit of it like these are my favorite nails y'all like and it's hard to choose between my favorite nails between all of the nails i do but these like these gotta be like one of my top fave but anyways guys i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i love these nails as much as i do if you do be sure to give this video a thumbs up because some of y'all be forgetting like i don't know what be going on i'm getting you know the views and the likes don't be matching up but anyways <laughs> um go ahead and like the video and then comment your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel because if you haven't subscribed this far i really don't know what you're doing <laughs> and turn on your bell notifications so that you are notified each and every single time your girl drop thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now